lovers, it's Sarah, and I'm going to try and start a challenge on my blog and my YouTube channel, and I'm going to call it Shape Card Sundays, and I'm going to try every Sunday to post a new shape card, and I'm hoping you'll enjoy it and you'll play along. Um, I've always liked shape cards, and I just thought it would be a fun little challenge to do. If you have a Facebook channel, I have um, Live, Love, and Scrap on Facebook, so if you would um, play along in the challenge and share your card over that, I would love to see them. I'm going to try to figure out how to um, link up uh, pictures on my blog. I'll play around and see if I can get that going. But um, and if you have a YouTube channel, you can respond to this video with a video. Just If you want to play along, it would be great. I would love to see your cards. So anyways, for my first one, I know Sunday is almost over. <laughs> for some of you, you're going to be seeing this on Monday. I got a really late start today. For my first one, I wanted to make a snowman shape card. I know it's barely just fall, but I'm so ready for the holidays. I used a snowman from the Snow Friends cartridge, and I used this one right here. I sized two at 5.25 in my Gypsy and welded them together out of some white paper tray ink cardstock. And I believe it was last year I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Christina from um, Creations with Christina. She made a snowman shape card and I was like, oh, that's so cute, I want to try that. And so this card was inspired by her. So here's the front of my snowman card. And in my Gypsy, I hid all the little tick marks that it makes so that I could use a fabulous Peachy Keen stamp. And I used the Snow Mini Face Assortment. And it's this one right here. Oops, no, sorry. This one right here, the one inch. And it's the little snowman with his tongue sticking out. And I used my chalk. I used this chalk right here, Pebbles. And I get this at Hobby Lobby. And I colored in the nose with orange and the cheeks with pink and then the eyelids which it's a little bit of blue and then I used a Zig Millennium and it's a 05 size to color in the tongue and when I color in the little um, peachy keen face stamps with pens I just make little dots even with my white gel pen I don't go back and forth because it tends to smear it and make lines, so I just use little dots when I do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting our snowman together. The pattern paper that I used is an older collection. It's DCWV Holiday Collection. came out a few years ago. And here's the little vest, and I used this um, blue paper with snowflakes on it. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the vest down first. And then the little pockets on the vest. Let me grab some scrap paper. There's the two little pockets. And now I think I'm going to go ahead and add my little scarf. I decided that my snowman needed a scarf. So I used some seam binding ribbon from Liz's Paper Loft. And it comes straight like this. And you can leave it like this or you can crinkle it if you want. I decided to crinkle it. And what I did was I just bunched it up like this. And I sprayed it with some water. And then I dried it with my heat gun and it comes out crinkly and I thought that would be neat for the vest, I mean for the scarf. Let me get a piece of tape. Okay, what I'm going to do is put this behind. I'm just going to tape it onto the back. And then let me grab some glue dots. Oh, my chair. 
chair is starting to squeak. Okay, so I'm just going to add a glue dot right there. Maybe one is enough. I think I'm going to put another one underneath. There we go. Whoa! Okay, my glue dots just went flying. Let me trim this up a little bit. Now, this will fit in a regular A2 size envelope, but I do want to make sure that I don't put my hat up too far or it will not fit because it just fits. Okay, so let me grab my hat pieces. Just want to make sure. There we go. I think that's good right there. And that part goes like that. And then it has a little pom-pom on the top for this I'm just gonna put adhesive right here okay now for my sentiment I am using a holiday to remember it's a scrappy mom set that came out last year and it's got um, fall, Thanksgiving, and Christmas sentiments on it. And I'm using Christmas is in the air. And I'm going to stamp it with Jenny Boland Spice Tin. go ahead and adhere this down to my card base and then I'm going to add a few finishing touches. Okay, so my snowman card is all put together. Now, I have these gemstones from Hobby Lobby, and they're like these domes filled with glitter. They are so pretty. And I wanted to add some of these to my snowman. I think I'm going to add one up here. And then one right here on my scarf and then instead of buttons I'm gonna add two onto my vest. I know they're a little bit big for buttons but I like it. Okay. 
Oh, I love them. I think they're so pretty. Okay. So that's my old... I wish you could see how those sparkle. They really do sparkle. So that is my first shape card for my shape card Sunday challenge. Hope you can play along. I'll put links down in the bottom. Thanks everybody for watching and have a blessed day.